and uh, Putin, of course, he was calling for to be tried as a war criminal, which he continues to do. Um, it looks as though he's had a very good point with what's, what's been revealed in Butcher. Well, I wasn't deriding him for what it's worth, because even before uh, the horror that we're seeing coming out of Busha and that we will see in other towns near Kiev, uh, we had substantial evidence of indiscriminate killing of civilians by Russians, such as the killing of hundreds in Mariupol, uh, many of whom are still buried under a theater that was destroyed by Russian shelling. Uh, the only question was really whether Vladimir Putin had ordered such attacks or set up a system for such attacks where civilians were targets on a daily basis, a war crime. What we're seeing in Busha is that clearly hundreds of people were killed and buried. Uh, we have evidence that some of them were executed simply because they had hands tied behind their backs. And we have a series of witness statements that testify to that. Uh, and as the evidence is accumulated in a formal way, and as this is done, as I said, in other areas of Kiev, is certainly from a legal standpoint, I think there is a case that Vladimir Putin and military commanders could be tried for war crimes, in theory.